What would a video be without me shoving something up my nose? Hello, my amazing YouTube family. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm very excited about this because it's a brand new box. Well, not just for me, but for everybody. Ipsy came out with their replacement for the Glam Bag Ultimate. The Glam Bag Ultimate was a $50 a month bag that was supposed to come with 12 products, 8 full size, 4 samples, and it was, it was a disaster. It was. I, I know they tried, but uh, yeah, no, they just could not sustain it. So this uh -huh, is the Glam Bag X. This is now a quarterly box. And what I think is interesting is that because Ipsy acquired BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm comes out with their Boxy Lux in January. And to offset that, this came in February. This is February's box. The first one. I said that. Yes, I did. Well, this box is $55, and you are getting eight full-size products. I am having some Voli Espresso Vanilla Vodka. Straight up vodka, people. I don't mess around. Ooh, she's strong. Wowie. So, anyway, now I have to tell you, you know I'm not a spoiler person, but there was no way to avoid seeing some of the possibility of the items because when you went to sign up for it it was it was all over the place so i know that something patrick ta is going to be in here they showed a lot of products i'm hoping like it's an all patrick ta box but they did show the possibility that you might have been able to get i think a hood palette it is really heavy i'm very excited let's get into it how freaking cute is this? It's a little baby newspaper. It even feels like newspaper material. All right, glasses in hand. These are my older ones. So they're going to tell us what all of the products are in here. So I'm not going to look at that just yet. What am I pulling out? Ooh, a Violet Voss palette. The Pinky Promise. Did I add this? I... I... <laughs> I don't remember. But, oh, I don't have this one really do enjoy Violet Voss eyeshadows. They're all so different, which is very intriguing to me. This is, of course, a cardboard. It is quite thick, as a matter of fact. Okay, Pinky Promise, but where's the Pinky? <laughs> it's absolutely gorgeous. There are only four mattes in here, standard neutral mattes that you can use for your transition and your crease colors. And, oh, no, no, yeah, I was going to say this is a matte, but it's actually not. It is slightly luminous oh this one looks really interesting i think this is a matte with some glitter specks in it yes i believe it is or is it a really shimmer i don't know but it's really pretty i'm sorry i'm all over the place this looks beautiful i cannot wait to try this and i just get excited because there's differing degrees of shimmery and metallic and Look at that one. That's pretty. I'm very excited. Again, I keep getting surprised by the names of the palettes or the aesthetic of the palette, and then I open it up and go, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if it matches the name, but I sure as heck like it and cannot wait to play with it. Aha, uh -huh. okay. I remember this. I picked these. We were able to pick two products, I think. Was it three products? Maybe I picked that. <laughs> I don't know. But... I don't think I like the other choices. That was it. <laughs> okay, I'm a little excited about it. I was disappointed in, in the picks of the products that we had. Hence the reason I think I picked these. But they are really, really soft. They are from Kitsch. They sell these in Ulta. I have the Kitsch masks, as a matter of fact. Uh, these are soft and fuzzy. These are suede and these are velvety. Scrunchies. I love scrunchies. There's five of them. I'm very happy to have them. I can I can never have enough scrunchies. Let's pull out the next thing. I'm not looking. What is this? It says Saints and Sinners, Illuminati, Divine Shine Holographic Serum. But for what? Ow. It's hair serum. I like hair serum. Oh, but how cool is this? It really is an illuminating serum. It's very silicone-y. Well, that's an interesting scent. I don't know if I like it, but they say you can use it in wet or dry hair. Ooh, that made it super shiny. Okay, 
I like getting those type of hair products because they're products. <laughs> products because those are ones that I'm going to use. Alrighty, let's see what the next thing I'm pulling out here is. So this says pure Brazilian Moroccan oil leave-in conditioner. Cool. Okay. When it's in a spray, I'm just going to spray it on my hand because I want to smell it. Of course, I could have just opened it to smell it. Oh. What would a video be without me shoving something up my nose? I didn't really smell anything with this. This looks like a deluxe size sample, does it not? I thought we were getting full size products in here, but I'm gonna be very interested to read and find out. I mean, maybe I did an add-on and I didn't even realize it. Okay, so the next is a very heavy box and this is from 111 Skin, the brand that charges an absurd amount of money for decent products but absolutely, positively not worth their price tag. But this says, why theorem, theorem, theory, <laughs> theorem. Okay, day cream. It is 1.7 fluid ounces. I have no clue what this stuff does. Well, it has castor oil, but it's also got some benzyl alcohol. I'm gonna take it out of the box, but I'm not gonna open it because I may be selling this on my Poshmark. Okay, so the next thing, just reached in. Aha, uh -huh, okay, I was right. We did get something from Patrick Ta. I was hoping it was going to be like an all Patrick Ta box. That would have been amazing because they showed so many different products. I don't own anything from him. He is high-end and costly. But what did I get? It says Velvet Blush. Shade She's Adorable. Ah, oh, thanks. Yeah. And the carton is, is very luxe. This is raised over here. Very, very pretty. Have you guys tried anything from his brand? Wow, look at the inner packaging. That is actually really, really stunning in person. This is going to get fingerprinty. Who cares? It does have a really, really nice mirror on the inside. And look at the embossing on there. It looks like it's a luminous blush, though has a beautiful texture. It is slightly luminous, but I love the color. I, so I'm going to be very excited to try this and give it a go. I'm not going to speculate upon what I did as an add-on or anything else until I read because I'll probably be talking out of my butt if I did. So let's not go there. All right. So the next thing, box is a little worse for wear, but it is about face painted lip color. And it's in the color Last Good Night. And it says around in the package that it's made in Italy. I don't know if I've heard from a, of About Face before. Oh, how freaking cute. Okay, the adorableness of this packaging is something to behold. That's glass. Why haven't I heard of this company? It seems rather luxe. But this is a soft matte top and it's just a cuteness factor and it's got a little indent here it's got a little baby doe foot applicator please be a color i like please be a color i like well interestingly enough i think doesn't it kind of match the color i'm wearing right now <laughs> this is a little bit lighter than what i had on but it goes on beautifully Okay, that feels like a beautiful formula. I actually kind of like the color a lot. And as I said, I want to use it because it's so freaking cute. Packaging will get me 100% of the time. It is a very liquidy formula, so I think it is going to dry down and stay put. So far, I'm definitely not disappointed. Confused, but not disappointed. Oh, this is from Complex Culture. I think I picked this because I think I really did not like any of my choices. This is the Ipsy brand. It is Ipsy owned. You can research that. Some people have some thoughts about Ipsy putting their own brand in the boxes. I'm fine with it because actually the products have been really, really good. The only thing I have not liked so far was their liquid lipstick. I liked it at first, but after about an hour, it completely turned my lips into little prunes. So let me tell you what this is first. It says Sonic T-Bar Facial Massager. 
I don't need one of these because I have so many of these types of products, but I really didn't want anything else. It is very nice in the hand. It's a beautiful rose gold color. I do not have this particular type of massager. Obviously need batteries because it's sonic, so I'm guessing that it vibrates. Of course, couldn't I put in the battery? I mean, one AA battery, couldn't, or is it two? Could be two, but it couldn't, just my thoughts. Anyway, I will be excited to try this. I do, when I have the time and or remember to use them, really do enjoy my jade rollers, any of those things for massaging the face. Do they have any lasting effects on anything? I don't know, and I don't know that there's science to prove that they do. For me, they're more of an experience, relaxation. I can say that when I'm massaging my eyes with the frozen rose quartz things that I have, that does reduce the puffiness. They have some potential benefits, so that is why I think I wanted this, and probably because I didn't want anything else. Okay, so this is the First Aid Beauty Gentle Flo Floaming. Uh, I don't think I've tried this before. It says it has amino acids, lifts away dirt, oil, and debris, safe for sensitive skin. First Aid Beauty absolutely puts out some great products, and I'm happy to try another cleanser. I really do love foaming cleansers. There's something about the experience of it that I enjoy, which is why I really enjoy the Kylie Cosmetics cleanser that we got in one of our boxes. I know. I, I, I get it, but it's a good cleanser. Okay, reaching in, getting to the bottom of things. Did I order this? Did I choose this? Was this an add-on? But I'm so happy to have this, a gigantic one of the Beauty Blender Cleanser. This is absolutely one of my favorite liquid cleansers. I've tried a bunch. I even tried the Sigma one, which is meh, not the best. This and the solid, they, they did this right, I have to say, at least, you know, they produce sponges, so you would think that they would get the cleaner correct, but absolutely love this. So glad whether I picked it or not, whether it's an add-on, I, I don't know, but regardless, I am super happy to have that. Well, that's pretty. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I get, I get excited for things. It is Pat McGrath Labs Fetish Eyes Mascara. I don't want to open it it's so pretty but I can't even figure out how to open it sorry package but I gotta open you it does come with a little insert and I don't remember if I've tried this mascara but I'm really really happy to have it because it's an expensive mascara and it's a chance to try some you know luxury products I do have some Pat McGrath um, and you know my my soul hurts every time I've purchased one because of their price tag so I'm very excited to have that okay so I was correct I did see this and I have to say to get this in a subscription box for $55 this palette alone is 65 this is the Huda Beauty rose gold palette remastered I do already have this palette for the first box once I read and figure out what actually is part of the box um, yeah they absolutely stepped up the, their game for sure let me go get mine and I'll be right back okay so here is my palette this is an absolutely gorgeous palette I did not have the original one I don't know if you guys did but uh, this is the remastered again the packaging is absolutely stunning lots of attention to detail she always puts herself on her packages and uh, this is the insert. I've kept it again because it is beautiful. I'm going to be playing with this palette tomorrow because I forgot how absolutely stunning this palette is. This is one of my favorite colors. It's like an olivey gold. I mean, they go on so beautifully. The metallics are soft and just have that adherence and they just sit on the eyes. <laughs> I just realized what I said. Of course they sit on the eyes. They're not going to be sitting on any other part of your face. Oh boy. This, you can see the little dip in it, is one that I just always gravitate towards. And it's a soft, it's powdery, but look at the intensity and it blends so beautifully. I don't believe any of these are toppers. 
that's like that lightest one. I usually put that one in my corner or, you know, I mean, it's a gorgeous, stunning palette. And to get it in this box along with everything else, I think they really did a fabulous job. And this is the Soul Velvet Lipstick. Didn't I just, oh, from Touch and Soul. I, th I remember this, but I can't remember whether I picked it or I ordered it. I, mm, I don't remember packaging. I love their packaging. That's soft matte. It's just, I like it. That's pretty. This is called Soul Rose. They're very creamy. That's a pretty color. It you know, matches my shirt. Okay, I have to see what the deal is, what I ordered, what I didn't, because it's driving me nuts. I drive myself nuts. Oh my goodness. I don't know how I don't drive you guys nuts. Anywho, so obviously they're going to be talking about Patrick Ta. Okay, so it says the box was curated by him, and it says Patrick's Picks. So the first thing they're talking about, I really love this newspaper. Adorable little package here. The Pat McGrath Labs Fetishized Mascara. It's $30. Say that it has a flexible, buildable formula with zero clumps and flakes. Okay, this cutie patootiness. Oh my goodness. This is the About Face Painted Matte Lip Color, and it is $22. And they say that it's an Ipsy exclusive. Of course, you know, they made it just for Ipsy, but they did a good job because I really do like it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. It's... <laughs> I get excited. It's the new brand by Halsey, which I did not realize. They say that it's ultra pigmented and long lasting, yet totally lightweight. It is lightweight. It feels a little bit dry on my lips. Let me just kiss myself here. It is fairly transfer proof. If her other products are going to be like this with the adorable packaging, I am excited to go out and try it. I don't know who sells the brand. If you guys know, let me know, please, because you guys know everything. I don't know how, but you're magical in that way. Okay, the True. Complex Culture Sonic Tea Facial Massager. They're saying it's $58. Do I actually think this is worth $58? Absolutely freaking not. You know, normally they have reasonable priced products. Not $58, doesn't matter because I didn't pay $58, if you know what I mean. It says the glowing skin and sculpted features Patrick creates on his clients. It starts with the right prep. Specifically, a smoothing and sculpting face massage using this sonic powered tool. It will reduce puffiness under your eyes. That I can say for sure. Any other benefits? I don't know. Does it feel good? Fabulous. Am I really glad I did not pay $58? Absolutely. freaking lovely but of course, this is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Remastered Eyeshadow Palette. And yes, I was correct. It is $65. This is a beautiful palette, one that I'm very grateful to have. So the Patrick Ta Beauty, the Monochrome Moment Velvet Blush. He's showing three different shades that you could have gotten. And it is $32, which is a lot of money for a single blush. He says, fresh, flush, lit from within skin is a Patrick Ta Signature. He's also suggesting that you can use it as a shadow. I've done that with many cheek products before. Are all the boxes the same? Because it says you could have gotten the blush or the brow wax. The brow wax is $40. So honestly, I would have been happy with the brow wax as well, but I'm very excited to have the blush. Okay, so those were the five products I believe that they picked and they put in, and then you had a choice of three others. I don't remember this, of course, but it was either a Tula Skincare Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm, which I already have, the Yensa Beauty Pink Lotus Peptide Renewal Eye Cream, which I have tons of skincare already, the Private Dr. Define Minus Serum, which I haven't heard of, Item Beauty Triple Action Setting Mist, which I'm surprised that I didn't pick, Air Professional Texture Air at $28, the R & Co. Peachalina Kombucha Detox Rinse, Saint and Sinners Illuminati Divine Shine Holographic Serum. There we go. And it's $27.50. It says it's like a highlighter for your hair. Do we, do we want highlighted hair? Did, did anybody ask for that? I, I don't know. It has coconut, olive, and jojoba oils, and they suggest that it will also protect from heat damage. You also could have gotten the 
Detox Dry Shampoo. Now I know why I made some of the choices that I made, absolutely. Okay, these I definitely remember picking, and these are $12. That's really reasonable. Five for $12, not bad at all. They're the Velvet Scrunchies in Blush and Mauve. Now, here's the thing, guys. <laughs> here's where my confusion comes in. The other two products are the Babe Lash Serum, Eyelash Serum, which is $120, and the Kiss and Makeup Clutch. I didn't get a bag. No, let me go into my phone and read on my phone. Where's my phone? All right, I just, I got my new phone, by the way. I'm still learning it. Let's see what we have here. The Patrick Ta Beauty, okay. The Huda Beauty Palette. The Pat McGrath. The Complex Culture. The About Face. Okay, it says that I picked the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Gentle Foaming Cleanser. If I picked it, why is it not in here? It's not in here. So let me just see what that cost. The price of this is $22. It says that I picked the Saint and Sinners as well. It says that I picked the scrunchies. Okay, so it says <laughs> I did this as an add-on, which I'm very glad that I did. But let me see what the palette costs. It's normally a $35 palette. It's 15.6 grams of products. And I think I may have gotten it for 12 So that's pretty cool. Very happy about that. Beauty Blender Cleanser was an add-on. Let me see. It's normally $30. And I think I also paid 12 for it. So that's fabulous. I'm glad that I did that. Oh, I get it. Okay. I think these are the products that I sent me, they sent me to appease me for the issues that I had last month. I'm pretty sure that is the case. Okay. Now that makes complete and total sense. Boy, my confusion. I need more of this. I, I can't possibly add up my bag right now. <laughs> yeah. But what I can say is for the $55, Am I really completely happy? Yeah, I most definitely am because if I didn't have that Huda palette already, I would have been elated. And to get the Patrick Ta and the Pat McGrath, those are really high-end products that I may not necessarily go out and purchase myself. So to get all the products that I got for the $55, so remember how I break it down normally? So I'm gonna say they're about $7, because eight times seven would be 56. So about $7 a product? Seven dollars? Seven dollars. I think seven dollars for the Pat McGrath. Whoever decided to do this, they are off to a really, really good start. Let's hope that they can keep it up. Do you know what I mean? It's really, I think, hard to put those type of products in these boxes every quarter. Maybe they'll be able to. Maybe the fact that it's now a quarterly box, that might have something to boost it. I have my fingers crossed. Do you? Now, if you got this box, <laughs> hopefully you were not as confused as I, because that was a mess. I'm, I was an absolute mess. So my question is, were all the boxes the same except for those couple of variations? Are they always going to be the same? These are all the questions that I have. Can you answer them? I'm very curious. I would love to know your thoughts, my friends, because that is the absolute best part of my day. This was a very long video because I'm a mess. And I so appreciate you guys hanging out with me, sticking through everything with me. You are amazing, wonderful people, and I love you tremendously. And of course, my friends, whatever part of the world you're in on around, I hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you have an amazing week coming up, and I'll see you really, really soon. Love you. Bye.